Gig E redirects here. For the camera protocol, see Gig E Vision. In computer networking, Gigabit Ethernet is a term describing various technologies for transmitting Ethernet frames at a rate of a gigabit per second, as defined by the IEEE 802.3-2008 standard. It came into use beginning in 1999, gradually supplanting fast Ethernet in wired local networks, where it performed considerably faster. The cables and equipment are very similar to previous standards and have been very common and economical since 2010. Half-duplex gigabit links connected through hubs are allowed by the specification, but the specification is not updated anymore and full-duplex usage with switches is used exclusively. History Ethernet was the result of the research done at Xerox PARC in the early 1970s. Ethernet later evolved into a widely implemented physical and link layer protocol. Fast Ethernet increased speed from 10 to 100 megabits per second. Gigabit Ethernet was the next iteration, increasing the speed to 1000 Mbps. The initial standard for Gigabit Ethernet was produced by the IEEE in June 1998 as IEEE 802.3Z, and required optical fiber. 802.3Z is commonly referred to as 1000 Base X, where X refers to either CX, SX, LX, or ZX. For the history behind the XC Fast Ethernet, IEEE 802.3 AB, ratified in 1999, defines gigabit Ethernet transmission over unshielded twisted pair category 5, 5E, or 6 cabling and became known as 1000 Base T. With the ratification of 802.3 AB, gigabit Ethernet became a desktop technology as organizations could use their existing copper cabling infrastructure. IEEE 802.3R, ratified in 2004 added two more gigabit fiber standards, 1000 Base LX10 and 1000 Base BX10. This was part of a larger group of protocols known as Ethernet in the first mile. Initially, gigabit Ethernet was deployed in high-capacity backbone network links. In 2000, Apple's Power Mac G4 and PowerBook G4 were the first mass-produced personal computers featuring the 1000 Base T connection. It quickly became a built-in feature in many other computers. Higher bandwidth 10 gigabit Ethernet standards have since become available as the IEEE ratified a fiber-based standard in 2002, and a twisted pair standard in 2006. As of 2009, 10 gigabytes Ethernet is replacing 1 gigabyte as the backbone network and has begun to migrate down to high-end server systems. Varieties There are five physical layer standards for gigabit Ethernet using optical fiber, twisted pair cable, or shielded balanced copper cable. The IEEE 802.3Z standard includes 1000 base SX for transmission over multi-mode fiber, 1000 base LX for transmission over single mode fiber, and the nearly obsolete 1000 base CX for transmission over shielded balanced copper cabling. These standards use 8B 10B encoding, which inflates the line rate by 25%, from 1000 Mbit S to 1250 Mbit S, to ensure a DC balanced signal. The symbols are then sent using NRZ. IEEE 802.3 AB which defines the widely used 1000 base T interface type, uses a different encoding scheme in order to keep the symbol rate as low as possible, allowing transmission over twisted pair. IEEE 802.3 app defines Ethernet operation over electrical backplanes at different speeds. Ethernet in the first mile later added 1000 base LX10 and BX10. 1000 base X 1000 base X is used in industry to refer to gigabit Ethernet transmission over fiber, where options include 1000 base SX, 1000 base LX, 1000 base LX10, 1000 base BX10 or the non-standard X and ZX implementations. 1000 base CX, 1000 base CX is an initial standard for gigabit Ethernet connections with maximum distances of 25 meters using balanced shielded twisted pair and either DE9 or 8P8C connector. The short segment length is due to very high signal transmission rate. Although it is still used for specific applications where cabling is done by IT professionals, 
For instance the IBM Blade Center uses 1000 base CX for the Ethernet connections between the Blade servers and the switch modules, 1000 base T has succeeded it for general copper wiring use. 1000 base KX, 1000 base KX is part of the IEEE 802.3 app standard for Ethernet operation over electrical backplanes. This standard defines 1 to 4 lanes of backplane links, 1RX and 1TX differential pair per lane, at link bandwidth ranging from 100 bit to 10 bit per second. The 1000 base KX variant uses 1.25 GBD electrical signaling speed. 1000 base SX 1000 base SX is a fiber optic gigabit Ethernet standard for operation over multimode fiber using a 770 to 860 nanometer, near infrared light wavelength. The standard specifies a distance capability between 220 meters and 550 meters. In practice, with good quality fiber, optics, and terminations, 1000 base SX will usually work over significantly longer distances. This standard is highly popular for intra-building links in large office buildings, co-location facilities and carrier-neutral internet exchanges. Optical power specifications of SX interface, minimum output power equals a 9.5 adbm. Minimum receive sensitivity equals a 17 adbm, 1000 base LX. 1000 base LX is a fiber optic gigabit Ethernet standard specified in IEEE 802.3 clause 38 which uses a long wavelength laser, and a maximum RMS spectral width of 4 nm. 1000 base LX is specified to work over a distance of up to 5 km over 10 AA micrometer single mode fiber. 1000 base LX can also run over all common types of multi-mode fiber with a maximum segment length of 550 meters. For link distances greater than 300 AM, the use of a special launch conditioning patch cord may be required. This launches the laser at a precise offset from the center of the fiber which causes it to spread across the diameter of the fiber core, reducing the effect known as differential mode delay which occurs when the laser couples onto only a small number of available modes in multi-mode fiber. 1000 Base LX10 1000 Base LX10 was standardized six years after the initial gigabit fiber versions as part of the Ethernet in the first mile task group. It is very similar to 1000 Base LX, but achieves longer distances up to 10 km over a pair of single mode fiber due to higher quality optics. Before it was standardized 1000 Base LX10 was essentially already in widespread use by many vendors as a proprietary extension called either 1000 Base LX LH or 1000 Base LH. 1000 Base X 1000 Base X is a non-standard but industry accepted term to refer to gigabit Ethernet transmission. It is very similar to 1000 Base LX10 but achieves longer distances up to 40 km over a pair of single mode fibers due to higher quality optics than a Lux10, running on 13 10 nm wavelength lasers. It is sometimes referred to as LH. Easily confused with a 1000 base LX10 or 1000 base ZX because some vendors use the LH term. 1000 base BX10 1000 base BX10 is capable of up to 10 km over a single strand of single mode fiber, with a different wavelength going in each direction. The terminals on each side of the fiber are not equal, as the one transmitting downstream uses the 1490 nm wavelength and the one transmitting upstream uses the 1310 nm wavelength. 1000 base ZX 1000 base ZX is a non-standard but multi-vendor term to refer to gigabit Ethernet transmission using 1550 nm wavelength to achieve distances of at least 70 km over single mode fiber. Some vendors specify distances up to 120 km over single mode fiber, sometimes called 1000 base EZX. 1000 base T 1000 base T is a standard for gigabit Ethernet over copper wiring. Each 1000 base T network segment can be a maximum length of 100 meters, and must use category 5 cable or better. Auto negotiation is a requirement for using 1000 base T according to section 28D5 extensions required for clause 40. At least the clock source has to be negotiated, 
as one end point must be master and the other end point must be slave. In a departure from both 10 base T and 100 base TX, 1000 base T uses all four cable pairs for simultaneous transmission in both directions through the use of adaptive equalization and a five level pulse amplitude modulation technique. The symbol rate is identical to that of 100 base TX and the noise immunity of the 5 level signaling is also identical to that of the 3 level signaling in 100 base TX, since 1000 base T uses 4 dimensional trellis coded modulation to achieve a 6 dB coding gain across the 4 pairs. Since negotiation takes place on only 2 pairs, if 2 gigabit devices are connected through a cable with only 2 pairs, the devices will successfully choose gigabit as the highest common denominator, but the link will never come up. Most gigabit physical devices have a specific register to diagnose this behavior. Some drivers offer an Ethernet at wire speed option where this situation leads to a slower yet functional connection. The data is transmitted over four copper pairs, eight bits at a time. First, 8 bits of data are expanded into four 3-bit symbols through a non-trivial scrambling procedure based on a linear feedback shift register. This is similar to what is done in 100 base T2, but uses different parameters. The 3-bit symbols are then mapped to voltage levels which vary continuously during transmission. An example mapping is as follows. Automatic MDI-MDIX configuration is specified as an optional feature in the 1000 base T standard meaning that straight-through cables will often work between gigabit-capable interfaces. This feature eliminates the need for crossover cables, making obsolete the upper link normal ports and manual selector switches found on many older hubs and switches and greatly reduces installation errors. 1000 Base TX, the Telecommunications Industry Association created and promoted a standard similar to 1000 Base T that was simpler to implement calling it 1000 base TX. The simplified design would have, in theory, reduced the cost of the required electronics by only using two unidirectional pairs in each direction instead of four bidirectional. However, this solution has been a commercial failure, likely due to the required Category 6 cabling and the rapidly falling cost of 1000 base T products. 1000 base T products are sometimes marketed as 1000 base TX despite the difference in standards. The confusion possibly stems from the most popular form of fast Ethernet is known as 100 base TX, leading to many products supporting multiple speeds of 101000 but as marketed as 101000 base TX. See also, list of device bandwidths, jumbo frames, physical coding sublayer. Small form factor pluggable transceiver, notes, an example of a product specifying 101000 base TX ports can be found at Cisco SR224G24 port 10 slash 102 port gigabit switch plus 2 mini beak. Archived from the original on September 10, 2011 uh, references. Further reading, Norris, Mark, Gigabit Ethernet Technology and Applications, Artec House, 2002. ISBN 1-58053-505-4, external links, get IEEE 802.3, IEEE 802.3, IEEE and Gigabit Ethernet Alliance announce formal ratification of Gigabit Ethernet over copper standard, announcement from IEEE June 28, 1999, IEEE P802.3 AB 1000 Base T Task Force. IEEE 802.3 CSMACD, 1000 Base T White Paper from 10GA, Gigabit Ethernet Auto Negotiation.